to see you again for kids yoga and today we're going to read a story finding dory so it's about a fish who gets lost and needs friends and then comes back and comes back home we're going to learn all about that adventure before we start our story, we're going to do some yoga. Go ahead and get out a yoga friend at home. I see! You guys have your friends ready. Good! So any stuffed animal. I see some of you have your yoga friend in your head. <laughs> Good! So, we're going to go ahead and start with some swimming stretches. Because our story is today finding Dory. And Dory swims. So let's go ahead and take our stuffed animal. And if your stuffed animal has wings or arms or paws or whatever, go ahead and make your stuffed animal swim. Put it close to the screen so I can see. Good. Let's go ahead and take your stuffed animal down and we're going to copy what the animal just did. Take your arms out. Good. Now standing up tall and just swim the arms around, stretching. Good. Now swim the arms backward. Oh, that feels good. Good. Okay. So there are some other moves you can do in yoga that are like swimming. First of all, there is a pose that's like a fish. So we're going to go ahead and lay on our bellies and swing our arms and legs side to side, forward and back like a fish. Good, you got it. You guys are already doing it. Good. Nice 
stretches. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the book. You ready? Let's go ahead, now that we are all stretched out. Finding Dory. Look, there is a squid, or that's an octopus, huh? There's Dory, and then there's a whale back there. Oh, and there's even a little fish in the O. See that? <laughs> okay. Oh, look! This is Dory! It's a baby! Dory has really big eyes! Let's go ahead and do breathing by opening and closing our eyes, just like Dory. And have, yeah, have really big eyes. Here we go. Inhale, open your eyes. Exhale, close your eyes. Inhale, open your eyes. Good. Exhale, close your eyes. One more time, inhale, open your eyes really big. Now let's try that with some swimming arms. So we're going to go ahead, take our arms, and swim forward. Good. And swim back. Now let's do that and add our whole body. And if you want, you can open and close your eyes, but you don't have to open and close your eyes, okay? You ready? We're going to stand up. job. So, here we go. You guys did a great job. This is Dory as a baby. Dory is very forgetful. Here's Dory's friends. When Dory was young, her parents collected shells and made a trail with the shells. So she would always find her way home. One day, Dory, as a baby, spotted a purple shell. She wasn't allowed to swim too far. But Dory forgot and she swam further. Dory was just about to pick up the shell. And then whoosh! She was pulled away by the water undertow. Oh no! Suddenly, Dory was all alone. Oh no! from home. He was looking for his son Nemo. Dory helped Marlin cross the ocean and find Nemo. She went to live with them in the coral reef. She finally had a new home. So let's go ahead and pretend that we are Dory. And 
what happened in the story so far. You ready? Go ahead, pick up your yoga friend at home. Good. We're gonna go ahead and take your yoga friend in front of you. Go on your belly and swim. And we're gonna kick our legs and lead our friend forward in the ocean. Here we go. Go on your belly.
and Dory got pulled into the undertow again. Oh no! When Dory returned to safety, she was scared and remembered her mom and dad. She remembered where she was and she wanted to go home. So here comes along some old friends. Marlin and Nemo joined Dory on her trip across the ocean. All the way to Morro Bay, where <gasps> she was scooped up and taken away. Oh no. Dory found herself in a tank. In the Marine Life Institute. A cranky, cranky octopus was there named Hank. But Hank agreed to help Dory find her way home. Okay, so let's be an octopus. There are many ways to be an octopus. First of all, take your yoga friend if you want. Let's go ahead, go on the floor. Put our yoga friend down and move her arms and legs like an octopus. Ready? Here we go. Are you on your back on the floor? Good. And oh, octopus arms and legs. Good. You can reach for your feet. You can roll forward and back. Pretending you have eight arms and legs. is to go the other way around. So on your back, but push your belly in the air. Upside down octopus. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. You ready to start the story from the beginning? Do you remember what we did first? So first, there was Dory swimming. Get your yoga friend out. You ready to swim? Here we go. Kick those legs. Good. Keep swimming. And then, what happened next? Dory found some shells. Yeah. Stretches. Is your yoga friend moving with you? Good. And then there was some water under toe and whoosh. Open up. Star pose. Good. And then Lori found an octopus. Here we go. Ready? On your back. Good. And then let's do upside down octopus. Other way around. Good job. Woo. Oh, that's a fun stretch. Good job, guys. Okay. Let's find out what happened. You guys are really good at moving around. You remember the story. But soon, look at that. Whoa, hello. Dory was tossed into a whale shark pool where Dory met Destiny. And Dory said, is that you? Our pals. So, Hank and Destiny joined 
with also their new friend Bailey the whale to help find Dory, her parent. So this whale destiny has a big smile. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Here we go. Take your hands out of your mouth. Smile. Good. And we're gonna add that with our stretch. Good job, guys. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and swim forward. And then swim back. And then show them your big smile. Good, let's try that. Ready? Take your legs one more. One more time, ready? Here we go, get big swimming arms and swim forward. And swim back. <laughs> and big smile. Good. So there's Dory with the big eyes and the whale with a big smile. <laughs> you guys are good at that. So. Next. Look what happened. They escaped. Hank and Dory hid inside of a baby buggy. Look, can you see? Where are they? They're right there. And then they swim around and got stuck across the Institute to the Ocean Open Exhibit. Look at the people. You see the people there? They're right there. Yep. This is where Dory said goodbye to Hank. Dory asked around for help, but no one knew where her family was. Then she saw something. What did she see? She found shells. And she swam, she swam towards a crab. And she said, can you help me find my parents? Okay, are you ready? So we're gonna go ahead and be a crab. You ready? So what's a good crab pose? We're gonna go ahead. Yeah, you got it. So we're on our back and we're gonna walk around like a crab. And here's your crab, good. Let's go ahead and walk around. That's a good stretch for the front of our legs. Can you walk backwards? Can you walk in a circle? <laughs> That's hard. Good job, guys. Okay, let's start our story from the beginning. Do you remember our stretches? Take our yoga friend, and we start out with Dory. Yeah, you got it. Your yoga friend here. Here we go and swim. Good, keep swimming. Good. What happens next? Then Dory finds some shells. And we stretch down. Oh, I like this stretch. Oh, that is good, guys. Good. Then Dory gets swept away by the undertow current. Star pose. Half moon. Good. Then what happens next? Then 
Dory Feats. A, oh, an octopus. Yes, you got it. Let's go ahead and come down here and stretch. Good. Move your arms and legs. Yes, an upside down octopus. You are good at that. <laughs> next in the story. Let's find out. So Dory followed the path of shells and aww, she found her mom and dad. Dory was home again surrounded by family and friends. Let's go ahead and take our friend and give your yoga friend a hug. Good. One more time, guys. yoga friend is my I love nature bear. Yay! Let's go ahead and go in tree pose. Good! And let's go ahead and swim in tree pose. So we're gonna stand like our I love nature bear with one leg up. Good! And you can keep your hands together to balance here if you like. Or we're gonna swim. And if you end up falling over, it's okay. Just get back up and try again. Here we go. One leg up. Swim the arms forward. Good. Swim the arms back. Good. Now we're going to actually move. Can you hop and swim? Let's try that. Ready? One leg up. We're going to swim forward. <laughs> Good. Okay. Now swing backwards. Be careful. Be careful. Good. You got it. Okay, switch to the other leg. We 
you see with both legs, triangle pose, or uh, tree pose, tree pose, good. Let's go ahead and swim forward and hop. Oh, you're good at that, be careful. <laughs> and let's go backward, I think backward is harder. Can you do that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, be careful, don't fall over. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put this together with our octopus pose. So if you end up falling over, just pretend you're an octopus. Ready? So pick up a leg, this will be fun. Ready? Any leg you like, swim forward. Good, okay, hop, swim backwards. And ready? Octopus! <laughs> Good! Come on, reach for your feet. Rock side to side. You can bend one leg, stand, and then switch. You can rock forward. You can rock back. Swing those legs over. To play a game. It's called yoga pose or octopus. You ready? Okay. So we're gonna do a yoga pose and you hold it and when I say octopus you fall to the ground and wiggle your arms and legs and roll around. Okay? Ready? Okay. Let's go into our triangle pose. Good. And then you hold this triangle pose and you swim your arms in this triangle pose. And just like in the movie, Dory keeps swimming, just keep swimming. Good. You keep doing this until I say, octopus. yoga friend and this is my alignment bear yeah so alignment bear is always sitting with arms straight out and legs straight out let's do that you can take your yoga friend with you if you like okay here we go ah oh, good stretch ah oh. let's go ahead and swim forward Swim back. Oh, you know what? We can even swim all the way down backwards. So maybe we can sit like this, swim forward, and then we have space behind us and swim back. <laughs> Ready? Swim forward. Swim backward. Good job, 
corner, alignment is not just sitting in this pose. Alignment is when you have your arms and legs in a straight line. Alignment can also be when your arms and legs are bent, but they are on top of each other in a straight line. So let's go ahead and take your hands and just stand up. Take your hands on your shoulders and just touch your shoulders. Good. Take your hands on your hips. Touch your hips. And then touch your feet. Good. So your shoulders and hips and feet are in alignment when they're on top of each other. Another way that they can be in alignment is that you can bend, take your hands at your hips and bend from your hips. And you're keeping your shoulders and your hips in a straight line and come up. Let's do that. And let's do that with a yoga pose. So take your arms up in alignment so your hands are on top of your shoulders in a straight line. Good. And then go ahead and touch your shoulders, hips, and feet. And come up, arms over the head, in alignment with your hands over your shoulders. Good. And then touch your shoulders, hips, and feet. Good. And then in yoga, there is a pose called a half stretch. So when you're down touching your feet, then you come up into a half stretch. So we have just come down to our feet. And then you have stretch, you take your hands and you keep your hands on your legs touching. And you come up until you have a straight line with your shoulders and legs, shoulders and hips in a straight line right here. Let's try that. Let's go ahead and come down, touch your feet. Your hands on your legs, but take your back into alignment. It's a straight line. Good. And lower down. Let's try that again. Ready? Arms up. Hands over the shoulders in a straight line. Touch your shoulders, hips, and feet. And then we come up halfway or half stretch. Keeping your back flat in alignment with your shoulder and hip in a straight line and lower. Good. Let's add our friend. So I'm gonna grab my alignment there. You can grab your yoga friend at home. Ready? Let's do our alignment standing stretch. Ready? Here we go. Arms up. Come down to our shoulders, our hips, our feet. Good. And then a straight line up here. You can reach your friend out. Make your friend dance. Hello. And come down. Do you remember that? Can you do it on your own? Here we go. Ready? Arms up. Yoga friend dances. Good. Touch your yoga friend to your shoulder. Your hips your feet and then reach out in a straight line and your yoga friend dance good hello let's do that one more time arms up straight line touch your shoulder your hips your feet and then reach straight forward hello good one more time coming up Straight line and shoulder, hips, feet, and then reach forward and low. Good. That is good alignment, guys. Nice job. We're going to go ahead and move on to my next yoga friend. So I have my breathe there. We're going to go ahead and do that alignment stretch with our breath. 
Ready? Take your yoga friend. Inhale. Now you breathe with me, okay? Here we go. Inhale, yoga friend, up. And then exhale to your shoulder. Inhale, yoga friend, in your hip. Are you breathing? Exhale to your feet. Inhale, reach your friend forward. Exhale, lower down. Let's do that again. Inhale, yoga friend, up. Good. Exhale, yoga friend, on your shoulder. Are you breathing? Inhale onto your hip. Nice. Exhale to your feet. <laughs> Inhale, reach your friend forward. Hello. Exhale to your feet. You guys are good at that. Let's do that one more time. Really good. Here we go. Ready? Inhale, up. Good. Exhale, shoulder. Are you breathing? Inhale, hip. Uh-huh. Exhale, feet. Here's the good part. Inhale, reach forward, dance. That's my favorite part. Exhale, lower to your feet. That was fun. Give your yoga friend a hug. You guys had good breathing, good stretches. One more time and a hug. Okay. Let's do our teddy bear nose breath. Go ahead and point to your yoga friend's nose. This is my favorite part. Let me see that cute little nose. Oh, hello. <laughs> point to the mouth. Ah, uh, good. Now remember in the book, Dory had big eyes. Can you show me your big eyes? Remember the whale had a big smile? Show me your big smile. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and breathe. Ready? Here we go. Inhale, point to your yoga friend's nose and you inhale and bring that nose close to the screen. <laughs> Good. Point to the mouth and then you exhale and go back. Good. Inhale, point to the nose and you exhale and go Up and 
forward, close your eyes, exhale, roll your shoulders backward, inhale, open your eyes, big like Dory, the baby, roll your shoulders forward, exhale, close your eyes, roll your shoulders backward, big Dory, baby eyes, <laughs> good, take your hands in prayer, fun with you guys today. We always end in our peace. Full breath. Inhale, hands in prayer up towards the sky. Exhale, peace hands to your heart. One more. Inhale. Always end and say Namaste. Good. Namaste. And you know what Namaste means, right? Yeah. The spirit in me honors the spirit in you. Thank you. Remember, just keep swimming like Dory. <laughs> <laughs> 